The big day is finally here. It is draft day in the association. Tonight, the 2022 NBA draft will take place. The C's have one pick. It is late in the second round. And today's show is going to be about mock draft roundups. So I do my own mock draft. I also take a look at mock drafts from ESPN and Bleacher Report. Who do they have the Celtics taking with the 53rd overall pick in the draft? That is their only selection tonight. However, it is worth noting that there was a rumor yesterday that the Celtics could trade into the first round potentially for Kansas guard Christian Brown. Would that be something? Now, who do you, who do you want the Celtics to draft? Go down in the comments section and let me know. It's the pinned comment on today's video. So go down and reply when you get a second. I want to know who you think and who do you want the Celtics to draft tonight. So let's get into my mock draft. So the C, the C's have the 53rd overall pick. So some familiar names off the board before that selection. We've talked about J.D. Davison, a guard from Alabama. I am very, very high on Hugo Basson, a guard out of France. I would love it if the Celtics took him. Pretty good chance he is on the board there, but this real GM draft simulator that I did had the Pelicans taken him right before the Seas had a chance to take him. However, plenty of notable players available in my mock draft to take. Dominic Barlow, I'm very high on him. I like him. Now he's a project out of overtime elite, just 18 years old. Darion Sebron, a guard out of NC State, love him, as well as Jabari Walker. We talked about him a few days ago on the show. I'm very high on the Colorado Ford. And then Kai Soto out of the Philippines, He's still on the board. Spoiler alert, I didn't take Kai, but I was very, very close to taking Kai Soto in this mock draft. Colin Gillespie, Yahoo Sports, projects the C's to take him tonight. That's very interesting. John Butler had a pretty good last season for Florida State. And then Johnny Juzang, man, I really like what he did at UCLA. I very much consider taking him in my mock draft. So the pick is in. I have made my selection. I corresponded with some people in the chat sports office. I'm like, yo, who do I, who should I take? Is it Kai Soto? Is it Juzang? But I went with Jabari Walker out of Colorado. Now, Walker's stock has risen in recent weeks. He had a great combine. Now, he's worked out for several NBA teams in the last couple days. However, no Celtics workout confirmed. Here is what he did last season for the Buffaloes. Nearly 15 points per game, nine rebounds per game, one and a half, 1.2 assists per game, 46% shooting the basketball. I really, really like Jabari Walker. What he did for Colorado last season kind of showed that he's NBA ready. He made absolutely the right selection returning for a sophomore season. And if you get a player like that, that high of a caliber of a player with pick 53, that is a great value pick, and I would be thrilled if the Celtics took Walker tonight. He could contribute very early on in his NBA career. Here's what the Athletics said about Walker. He's improved drastic, drastically in space defensively as a sophomore. Has real switchability now. Colorado used him regularly as a switch defender out of ball screens, and he had some real success with it. Not the quickest guy in the world, but has some real twitch and particularly flips his hips well. Hips don't lie, Jennifer Lopez. Stays active on his feet, combines that with real functional strength through his core that allows drivers to not go through his chest, even at 215 pounds, and allows him to to wall up on the block and play through contact while guys try to push him around. You know, it's funny. We're celebrating the summer of Tyler Jones here at Chat Sports. I think that has to be on the Summer of Jones playlist. Hips don't lie, Jennifer Lopez. Anyway, getting back to the draft pick now. I took Jabari Walker out of Colorado. I don't know if that's who the Celtics are going to take tonight, but we're going to find out, which is why you should subscribe. Because right when the Celtics are on the clock, I'm going to be doing my draft video prep, and then right when they pick, I'm going to get a video out to you guys. So hit that big red sub button right now. We're trying to become the number one Boston Celtics news and rumors channel on YouTube. I can promise you we're going to have the best draft coverage tonight. 
go down and subscribe. And you can subscribe to our Chat Sports main channel, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. That's the sub link right there. We're going to be live for every single pick. No Taco Bell commercials when the future MVP of the league is being selected. Remember that? Nikola Jovic, uh, Jokic was being uh, selected, and they were showing a Taco Bell commercial on ESPN. You're not going to have to worry about that tonight at Chat Sports. We're going to be breaking down every single pick in-depth analysis you don't want to miss it go down and subscribe now let's get into espn's mock draft who does espn think that the boston celtics are going to select i have them taking walker let's get into who espn thinks is going to be picked and here are the previous selections leading up to pick 53 with the celtics so pretty similar to my draft simulator that I did. You have Dominic Barlow, though, off the board this time. He was on the board. Michael Foster Jr., a G League guy, he's off the board, as well as J.D. Davison. Here is the pick for the Celtics by ESPN. They think that the Celtics are going to take Gabriel Prochita, a guard out of Italy. Shout out Mitchell Wren's uh, pronunciation guy for helping me get that. 20-year-old Italian guard who averaged seven points per game, three rebounds per game, playing three professional seasons in Italy. He's certainly a threat to shoot the three. So we've talked about here on the show how the Celtics really need to add some shooters off the bench. I don't know if Prochita can be that guy right away. He might be someone you have to develop over time, kind of a draft and stash type of guy, which is pretty common for an, for an international player late in the second round. Here's what the Athletics said about him. A legitimate live athlete for his size. Gets off the ground easily. Rises for big dunks in transition or off putbacks. Tries to tear down the rim. Plays with swag and confidence too and can be a highlight machine. Came in with a large 8 foot 10 standing reach that looks accurate when you watch him play. He looks big for a wing floor spacer and has some athletic twitch. Plays hard, real motor for the ball, and is one of those athletes who finds buckets by putting himself in the mix, rises up through contact. So Prochita the selection for the Celtics by ESPN. That is what ESPN's final mock draft. They've done all these mock drafts for the past 365 days, but their final mock draft, they have the C's taking an Italian shooting guard. Now, do you know who Gabriel Prochita is? Be honest with me. Type Y for yes or type N for no. I guarantee you if the Celtics take him, we will all figure out who he is pretty quick. However, I think there's going to be better options on the board than Prochita. Let's get into Bleacher Report's mock draft now, who BR has the Celtics taking. And some pretty familiar names that are still going to be available. Also, some pretty familiar names that have been taken leading up to that 53rd pick. Prochita in this uh, mock draft, 48 overall. So he is off the board five selections before the C's pick. Peyton Watson also off the board, as well as Michael Foster Jr., Carlo Matavik, and Hugo Basson. Please, 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 please do not pick Hugo, Pelicans. All these mock drafts I'm seeing have New Orleans taking Hugo Basson. I just love saying the name, to be quite frank. I think the guy can play, but I like his name, so I hope the Celtics take him at 53. Here is who BR had the C's taking. Darion Sebron out of NC State, who made a huge jump in his sophomore season with NC State. And I watched this guy play a lot in his freshman season. I actually announced some of his games when he was at NC State playing my Syracuse Orange. And to be honest, I did not look at this guy as a future NBA talent. I really didn't. He averaged five points per game in his rookie season at NC State last year. And I just wasn't that impressed. He had the athleticism. He had the talent. But I just don't know if he had the potential I was wrong because here's what he did the very next season at NC State. Huge jump. Freshman season, five points per game. Sophomore season, 17 points per game, eight rebounds per game, three assists per game. He was phenomenal. Here's what the ringer said. Everything in his game is attack, attack, attack. Finished in the top 30 nationally in points derived out of transition opportunities per synergy. 
If he has the space to move, he can change direction with his footwork at full speeds, allowing him to maneuver around players. Accelerates quickly in both full court and half court situations. Has a great Euro step to get to the basket and uses his extension to score. I would love this pick. After watching this guy last year at NC State when he was one of the best players in the ACC, I would love this pick. The value at 53 is there. Don't let this guy get away because if he doesn't get drafted, which is a possibility, I guarantee you there's going to be a team out there that gives him a pretty generous UDFA deal. So here is the mock draft roundup. I have the Celtics taking Jabari Walker. ESPN has the Seas taking Gabriel Prochita, a guard out of Italy. And Bleacher Report has the Seas taking Darion Sebron out of NC State, kind of a guard forward combo. So what is the best mock draft? Type me or type W. I'm going to type me. Type W for Will. Type E for ESPN or type B for Bleach Report. Let me know down in the comments section. I like Walker. I like Sebron. Prochita, I just don't know enough about. Who knows? Maybe he's like the next big thing. I'm not sure. We'll find out sooner rather than later. Thanks for watching this edition of Celtics Today. Again, go down and subscribe because I'm going to be getting you guys a draft video tonight.